so we have Dustin Lynch and Mackenzie Porter on Pure Country. So glad that I get to chat with both of you. How are you both doing and where are each of you at the moment? Um, so I'm just at my house in Nashville um, and I'm doing really well. <laughs> Same, I'm, I'm actually down the street from Mackenzie and, and on Music Row um, at, at our team's office. So, I, um, but I'm also doing great. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, congrats on everything. I know you guys have been super busy with music and touring, which is exciting to see that that's happening again. Um, but let's talk about the duet, Thinking About You. I love getting to play it on my show every day and just cranking it up because it is one of my favorite songs that's out there right now. But how did this come together? Because I know, Dustin, you had this song with Lauren Elena originally, but then she had another duet. So how did Mackenzie become the girl in the song? Yeah, so when we when Laura and I realized that the timing wasn't going to work for us, um, I submitted to my team, hey, what if we just go and, and have blind auditions? I really believe and and think about you, and I think it could be a, a big song for us. And we got a bunch back, and I had all the names removed before I got to to see the folder, just so I would pick what's best for the song. And um, I was I was traveling somewhere. I was out west, and, and I remember getting getting the folder and listening through it the first time in an airport, and immediately got chills and freaked out over a version. And that became the version that, that I kept gravitating towards. And as I came back home and I played it for a bunch of friends and trusted colleagues and everybody kind of started thinking the same thing. So it was, it was an easy decision. It was unanimous on my end of, of which version we should go with. And that was ended up being Mackenzie Porter. Um, so whenever I found out that I was like, well, who's Mackenzie Porter. So I got to dive in and, and do a little stalking on her. Yeah, I mean, I don't blame you. Her voice is incredible. But how cool is that? Like, because you guys, obviously, you hadn't ever met before. You didn't really know each other. Uh, Mackenzie, what was that like when you got the call? Just first off, to to do the version of the song, um, were you like, I really, really hope I get this? Did you think it was going to come together? Um, yeah, so kind of I got a call from my manager just kind of saying that Dustin was like auditioning girls um, to, to sing the part. And I had already known the song obviously just from Lauren's version and probably a day or two later Joey and I my producer and I went into the studio and started cutting and I was pretty like pumped about the version we did because Joey's incredible and you know we we stuck to obviously all the melodies that were written but then I got to like do some fun ad-libs of my own in there to make it my own and so I don't know I guess I I was trying not to think about it to see if I got it or not but then probably three weeks later Dustin followed me on Instagram so I was like oh this feels like I feel like maybe this is this is it and then he called me a couple of days later good old social media just giving it away uh -huh. well I feel like I've said this before but I'm sure like Dustin probably gets like a million followers a day but I can see who follows me because it's not like as many so of course I noticed when he followed me that's and I wasn't even I wasn't even thinking about giving anything away. I just was, like I said, in discovery mode about who's Mackenzie. Is is she a creeper? Is she weirdo? Is this <laughs> is this a good idea? You know. So and uh, and then instantly I'm a fan of what she's doing. So yeah, follow. Yes, I even and that, also, that would give my uh, my choice away. And instantly <laughs> discover she is not a creeper. She's she's quite a normal normal lovely woman. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it's it's cool to see both your voices come together. I always love collaborations because, you know, sometimes there's the expected ones that you're like, oh yeah, I figured that was going to happen eventually. But you two coming together with two voices, I just, I never thought I'd get to hear together. And then you hear them and you go, oh my gosh, how come you guys didn't do this sooner? So yeah. have you guys gotten to play it? Uh, uh, probably on some radio stations together, but have you got to play it live together yet? Oh yeah, yeah, we did. Actually, uh, was Vegas our first? Well, did we do the Brooklyn Bowl first? We did Brooklyn Bowl. That's right. And then Vegas, I, I was thinking live crowd would be. Yeah. Uh, so it was our first show back. Uh, we did we did a, a pool party weekend in Las Vegas. Um, and it was, it's called the pool situation, which which I would love to do again. And, and we're planning on doing again. But it was it was just a, a weekend of partying and kind of our first uh, show back with with the crowd anywhere and Vegas opened first and so we were there in the pools and Mackenzie came out and we had a freaking blast that would have been the first time we did it in front of a crowd anywhere I think yeah yeah um, that was so fun I mean of course like Vegas is Vegas and so when he asked me I'm like hell yeah I would love that <laughs> and that whole like party that you threw was epic and like people were so ready to party because yeah. they had 
been to a show for so long. That's a good place to to do it for the first time. Go big or go home in Vegas. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Hopefully down the road, you know, we have more opportunities to to as, as schedules start slowing up a little bit once the, the summer comes to an end here, we can uh, jump out on on tour with each other and do it again. I'd love to surprise you on tour one day. Come on. Come on. I got a bunch of shows. That's a great idea. I was just going to say, it's is it hard? Because I'm just putting myself in the position, but I don't know what it's like when I see, you know, an artist that has a duet singing it with somebody else on the song is there a feeling of like oh, I wish I was there singing my song with my duet partner or are you just excited to see that they're performing it with somebody else I was literally about to to say I'm having a blast watching you perform it um out with Jordan right now and and it's just amazing to me that, to to see and, and hear the crowd singing it back um oh, thank you it's like, well, obviously it's the biggest song that I play all night, but um, it is so cool. Like the first show I was like, well, like, will anybody know the song? I don't know. And now I'm like, oh, everyone's going to know the song because they have every show. And, you know, I try to sing Dustin's part, but I would much prefer if he was, <laughs> it was me. So I'm doing a, in our set, I'm, I'm doing a thing, which is why I, I probably don't hear the crowd singing back. I'll, I'll get a, a, a fan out of the crowd to come up and kind of karaoke it with me and um so most of the time i'm i've got karaoke <laughs> vocals in my ears <laughs> but it, it's, any- it's awesome you never know what's going to happen and who you get on stage we've had great performances we've had very energetic performances and we've had what is this person doing here performances so, <laughs> uh, you never know what you're going to get but it's it's a fun way to go about it i, I saw- think i saw it. you had like an incredible performer was it wisconsin yeah, um, her name was Haley. I can't remember exactly where we were on that show. Um, but yeah, she she got up and, and just shocked the world. <laughs> we couldn't believe it. I remember looking back at the band like, holy cow, this is this is about to be fun. And, and she did a great job with it. <laughs> um, so it's top 30 in the U.S. I think it's or sorry, top 30 in Canada and top 15 in the U.S. right now. And it was only like recently released in Canada. So it's just like going flying up the charts. Um, what's it like? Is it different getting to watch a song climb the charts when you have it with somebody else? Like, is it more fun having as solo artists getting to have a partner to kind of like go through the the radio climb together? I literally just texted a friend between interviews here and I, I got asked, hey, are you tired of interviews? Do you like doing interviews? I was like, I actually dig them. And it's way more fun um, to get to do this with someone else. You know, this is being my first duet. Um you know, to, to, to experience the highs and the lows and the, the what's going to happen with McKenzie has been a lot of fun. And um, I, I think doing doing this for so long solo, uh, this is a nice change of pace and, and a great time. For sure. I, I agree. I feel like when it went top 15 in the U.S., obviously, I mean, I texted Dustin, we're like, we're 15. <laughs> and he was out on a belt and like sending pictures back and forth. And yeah, it's just like to celebrate with anybody, but especially somebody who like, is going through literally the exact same thing. And for me, I mean, I wouldn't be in this position without Dustin. So that's just cool to like have him kind of like leading the way. It's going to be a fun celebration when this song hits wherever it's going to hit on the charts. I won't, uh, I won't say where, but I have a feeling, I feel like it's going to go all the way, but um, I want to play a little game with you guys for the song. Um, I want to, it's, we're going to rename it thinking about who. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you an um, activity or a place. And I want you to tell me the first person that comes to mind when I say this place or thing. So first up, we'll start with Mackenzie. Um, and then Dustin, you can give your answer is hockey. Um, first person I thought was Wayne Gretzky. Okay. I don't know, but I'm not a big hockey person. So that was the only person I knew. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually do follow hockey a, a decent amount, and I have no idea why I thought of him. Maybe because it's hunting season, but Mike Fisher, because okay. um, he's not. I'm I'm close with some of the Preds players and and a lot of other players in the league, but for whatever reason, Mike came to mind. So there you go, honest answer. Okay, uh, whiskey. Who do you think of? Me, ladies first. Uh, <laughs> I think of Jake just because Jake is like such a whiskey guy. Like he, if he could have a drink and be like whiskey neat or like on the rocks or something so the hubby all right what's his go-to whiskey by the way um oh god i don't even know something um he'd be so ashamed of me i don't know anything about whiskey (laughs) i don't know 
Crown yeah, Royal. No, he's like fancier. Like he like okay. goes with the bougie stuff. Okay. Yeah, the be like yeah, the small batch stuff. Yeah. Um, George Dickel came to mind for me just because that's where I'm from. I grew up literally on top of the hill um, from that distillery in Middle Tennessee. And not knowing any different, when I came back from Nashville after being away for a while to visit the family, I, for the first time, smelled what I'd been, I guess, hit with my whole life. And that was the, the smell of mash coming off of um, them distilling it. And so I don't know if I was just like constantly kind of drunk off of that <laughs> my whole life or what was going on. I'm like, what is that smell? And my parents are like, what are you talking about? And I realized, oh, it's the mash coming, coming up the, the holler um oh. from from george dickel yeah maybe you were drunk all the time you don't know who knows <laughs> probably my pro it's probably my problem shannon i guess i don't know <laughs> it is right. a lot. yeah exactly <laughs> uh christmas who do you think of i think of um you know obviously my family and my grandma um i have one grandparent left and she's like hosts the best christmas party makes the best food and i haven't seen any of them since 2019 christmas so i mean i see my family but i haven't seen my extended family so this year is going to be a For good one sure. yeah i'm the same it, it, it's gone from um what am i gonna what am i gonna get to what am i gonna give for me because i've got a niece and a nephew that i love to spoil so they're uh, they're of the age now to where i can get them some really cool gifts and i'm already thinking about okay what do i get these these crazies so we'll see <laughs> I, i'm i'm really uh I've, I've gotten good at shopping early on I don't like the pressure. Of, I mean, I legit will lose sleep once mid November hits. If I don't have gifts bought for everybody, I start losing sleep over it. So I've learned to, to get on it early. So you got to start now is what you got to do. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, I'm already thinking about what, what to do and what to get them and something that they can use and be, be excited about. I feel like too, for like an aunt or uncle, um, to get them like those toys that the parents would never want to get them or get them like they're too loud. There's too many pieces. They're kind of yeah. dangerous. And you're like, that's what we're going to get them. That's it. <laughs> As a new parent, I dread those gifts from aunts and uncles. I'm like, no loud toys. <laughs> yeah, that's like a rite of passage. So like for us, it's like the louder, the better. Like a drum kit, sure. That's what we're giving you. Oh you're, my not God. Allowed. you're not yeah. allowed to buy our son any gifts, Mackenzie. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, Mackenzie, on all the CCMA nominations, Entertainer of the Year. Dustin, congratulations on getting to be a part of the Grand Old Opry 5,000 Saturday night lineup so lots of exciting stuff happening even outside of the song but hopefully my my hope is that we get to have you in Canada so you guys can perform thinking about you for all the Canadian fans who are dying to see you guys I love that yeah for sure let's keep let's get that countdown going yeah and just let me know if you guys plan on making any of those performances happen because I would like to be there <laughs> okay. well, all right thank good. you so much Mackenzie Porter and Dustin Lynch on Pure Country